And you'll chances are you've been reaching for the bug spray lately after a surge of mosquitoes has hit southern Arizona. News for Tucson's Angelique Lazardi spoke with some experts to explain why this monsoon has those skeeters coming out with a vengeance. Angelique. <laughs> Well, you got it, Sean. Those skeeters, they're out here right now here near the U of A, and I definitely have the deet spray just in case because they are out with the vengeance, just like you said. And according to experts here at the U of A, they say there's no real concerns when it comes to getting those bites from mosquitoes, but they are keeping a close eye when it comes to monitoring viruses related to specific species. When the female mosquito gets close to you, uh, she'll be able to see you and visually target you and then she'll actually land on you. She has taste receptors in her feet and she'll be sensing all those volatiles as to whether you're a good host to feed on or not. UA professor Michael Reilly says the female mosquito is to blame for those unwanted bites. She feeds on blood to produce the next generation of mosquitoes. They're injecting saliva into you and it, the saliva has different compounds to evade our immune response. So it has vasodilators to open up blood vessels. It's got anesthetic so we don't feel them biting. Professor Reilly studies a variety of mosquitoes in southern Arizona and says the reason why some people get attacked more than others, genetics and diet. The ankle biter mosquitoes are actually the yellow fever mosquito, Aedes aegypti. So if you've been sitting out at dusk and they're going around your feet, it's likely these uh, Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. And they are the vectors of Dengue, Zika, chikungunya viruses. Experts say you can thank monsoon for the increased number of mosquitoes. Heavy rains create standing water, a breeding ground for these critters. Mosquitoes need to lay their eggs in water, and then the entire immature stages take about uh, eight to nine days, depending on the temperature, to develop into adults. Back in July, we had like nonstop rain for so long, it left a lot of standing water sitting around Tucson for a few days, and that's just enough to bring the mosquitoes up to what we saw now. News 4 Tucson meteorologist Daniel McFarland says with monsoon winding down, we could be getting a break from the bites. I think we've already reached the peak of kind of standing water season, if you want to call it that. That's already passed, so mosquitoes are going to be around right now, but over the next few weeks, I'm expecting they're going to start to die off. Well, back out here live, I know that I am looking forward to getting a break from those mos mosquitoes, that's for sure. And also another interesting fact from Professor Reilly, he says that when it comes to blood type, it does not matter when it comes to getting mosquito bites. So there's that. We are live near the U of A. We'll send it back to you in the studio.